Hey, it's Candy. Welcome back to my channel. It's Boxy Charm time. Oh man, there's a label over it. Sorry about that. <laughs> Where's that when I need it? I'm gonna have to bring a pair of scissors back in here. Um, I moved my office out into my bedroom or out into my living room. Sorry. Um, come on. Um, I know I moved my office out into the living room so that my bedroom was more of a sanctuary for me and I know I tried this last year and I'm hoping that it sticks this year looks like there's some brushes in here more Luxie brushes Ooh, is that a festival palette? alright Peace, love, and boxy. I have a feeling this has to do with festival season. Okay, so this is the pure festival palette. Um, here's the colors, but here's the pure festival palette. Here is the BH Cosmetics Weekend Festival palette. That looks pretty similar except for the sunglasses. Like it's the same picture, but this one has sunglasses? I don't know. Maybe I'm being overly critical. All right, I gotta figure something out. Oh. I have like tweezers and stuff. Why don't I just use that? Oh, oh, what is that? They sent a small sample of their eyeshadow primer in the box. That's actually kind of cool. Okay, so it's 12 colors. Let's get the condom off. So it looks like there are two chunky glitters, one, two, three, four, five, six shimmers, and four mattes. I love this gypsy color right here, of course, you guys know me in purple. So let's just take a couple swatches, I'll do them on my hand this time. Okay, so we've got gypsy, wild child sunset and this is the chunky glitter called fireworks you would definitely need a glitter glue with that one but the colors are nice they're nice and pigmented but not like they're not up to the par of juvia's place but they're good um pure is always fairly good about their pigments so we'll check that out this is Cashmere Slip Long Wearing Lipstick from Christopher Buckle. Oh, the Festival Palette is $36. I have that glitter all over me now. Awesome. Should have known. This big box for this little guy. Why does packaging annoy me so much sometimes? It's pretty though. It's like this diamond looking. And then there's the color. It's like a, I would call it like apple cider. It's gorgeous. I'm just not good with lipsticks. Bardo is the color. Because I don't like reapplying things. So a lipstick is not my favorite thing, but this is really beautiful. So we might give that a try. I mean, we're gonna give it a try. Uh, that is $18. This is a Diamond Glow Powder Loose Powder Highlighter from Artist Couture. Oh. Alright, 
So it's one of those twisty ones and it's got a sticker. So then you got to figure out how to take the sticker off with the twister, which is super annoying. Ah! <laughs> Don't shake it too much, guys. I'm, mm, I'm going to have to take a shower covered in glitter. Oh, Lord, my whole desk is covered. Look at my desk. <laughs> All right, so this is for sure a nice highlighter. It's definitely glitter glitter. Can you guys see that? Lots of glitter in this. Um, we'll see about that one. I'll, I'll give it a try today. If you can hear the kittens, they're mad at me because I didn't want them in the bedroom while I was getting ready. Uh, so that Diamond Glow Powder is $27. This is by Star Looks. This is their Ultra Gem Longwear Eye Pencil. I think I have one of these already. Star Lux Ultra Lux. Oh, I have the Ultra Lux Longwear Eye Pencil. And this is the Ultra Gem Longwear Eye Pencil. I don't know what gem means. That means there's sparkle in it. I bet there's sparkle in it. Okay, so I just did a line of the regular one I have. And then we'll do one of this one. Oh, okay. This is even a different color. Celestial. Oh, it's like this green almost. Intensely pigmented formula in your new Starlet Cosmetics Ultra Gem Longwear Eye Pencil. There was a beautiful color that lasts all day. The easy to extend retractable pen makes application and continuous use seamlessly easy without ever having to use a pencil sharpener. But it doesn't like it says nowhere on here what color it is but you can see on my hand it's this really beautiful green <laughs> this is my vein <laughs> that is the liner <laughs> <coughs> all right so that is the fourth item the fifth item is a pair of or a triplet of a Luxie brushes, a small contouring brush, a small shader brush, and a large shader brush in the festival summer days brush set. I'm probably not going to take those out because I'm going to give them to someone. So that is $28 because I just got a nice set of Luxie brushes from my BoxyCharm Lux. So, all right, let's... um. Let's get going on this. Let's 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 get my face done. I'm gonna wash my hand off real quick though. Smoke your own smoke and grow your own daisy. Mend your own fences and own your own crazy. Mind your own biscuits and life will be gravy. Mind your own biscuits and life will be gravy. Pouring salt in my sugar won't make yours any sweeter. Pissing in my eye ain't gonna make yours any greener. I've got on concealer, bronzer, and blush. So I'm gonna go in with this Diamond Glow powder. And we're gonna put that on the cheekies. Ugh, such a mess. It's, I don't know, like, it's just so much. Like, I barely touched my face. I'm going to clean.
clean this or close this so nothing else gets out. But it's it's just a mess. Because because it's a loose pigment, it's just a mess. Um but the highlight's nice. It, it's just glitter though. Like let's be honest about it. It's just glitter. Um for me, I don't think I'm going to keep this. I think I'm going to pass this on. It's just, it for me, it's too messy. Maybe someone else could have a really good time with it, but I'm going to pass that on. So next, we're going to go to the Festival palette. And we should probably use their primer since they sent it, right? All right, let's see. What kind of... Thick ass putty is this? <laughs> okay, let's get a brush, like a large flat brush, maybe. This one will work. Alright, so I'm just going to cover my lids in the primer. There was plenty on the first application. So there's probably two or three applications for me in this little foil container. All right. Put that in my too clean. Um, the way I usually do my eyes it's a little too boring for this palette. So I'm going to go ahead and go in with a fluffy brush and go into sunset right here. I'm going to avoid the big chunky glitters for now, but I'm going to, I'm going to use the other stuff. So I'm going to go into sunset and I'm going to, going to, I'm going to go on my orbital bone, which is what I normally do. I was watching Rach Loves yesterday, and she was talking about how she has a basic application for, like a basic shape that she knows looks good on her eye, and so every eye look starts with that basic shape, and then she adds all these colors and stuff to it, and I thought that was so cool. And that's basically what I do. I, I focus all of my looks on, like, three colors. And I know that for my hooded eyes, a nice color on my orbital bone will bring the whole look together. So I like to have a semi-bold color on my lid, like, or on my orbital bone, like something that's going to stand out and draw your attention. And then the rest of my look is on my eye, and you can only see it like when I'm, you know closing my eyes or talking and blinking and stuff and I think that's kind of cool so I'm gonna grab another flat brush this is by AOA Studios get back in there and I'm gonna go for this wild child color this beautiful bright pink this is sort of similar to a look I actually did yesterday with a Juvia's Place palette so what I'm going to do is I'm going to focus it right at the crease and just kind of go the width of, or the, yeah, the width of the brush. I'm going to leave right down by my eye line open because we're going to come back in. I feel like I'm holding this brush all weird. but I kind of want to pat it on instead of like brush it. Okay. So I've got that nice orangey like peach and then this pink and then we're going to go in with a small flat or a small like rounded brush. This one. Uh, this is by Luxie. This is the mini round brush. 
look it is what it says and I'm gonna go into this purple gypsy here and I'm gonna run that along the lash line and just kind of sweep it on in there this is basically acting as oh I just got I just got stuff on me this is basically acting as my eyeliner and it blends in with that pink so beautifully but you can see when I open my eye you can barely see it so it's a nice fun like hey look at me and the fact that it has sparkle in it is even better cause your girl loves sparkle alright now we're gonna take this star looks green eyeliner we're gonna do the bottom lash line I don't like it it's not good for the bottom lash line that kinda hurts it's difficult to put on it's not smooth on my eye and so it's pulling this is the problem I have with the other Starlux one is it it's too stiff it's not quite a gel liner and so it's it pulls so I'm gonna instead I'm gonna go back into this pure palette grab that same little round brush and I'm gonna bring the purple down onto my lash line and into my eyeball apparently yay I think this looks really nice like I said I did a similar look with the Juvia's Place Saharan 2 palette yesterday I used this color uh, Marrakesh Zora and then Berber so Marrakesh Zora and Berber and it was gorgeous I loved it it was such a pretty look okay so before I forget I'm gonna throw on mascara because I keep forgetting mascara again you guys I don't know what my freaking problem is that I can't remember mascara <clears throat> I wanted to pop some shimmer in the middle there too yeah yesterday's look would have been perfect if I had remembered mascara Do you have certain mascaras that you like for your top lash but not your bottom lash? Because, like, their applicator is too big. Like, I have a problem with this one and not getting mascara all over my bottom because the wand is so big, but it works perfect for my upper lashes. See, it brings the whole look together. I love it. Okay. So... I'm gonna go back in here and pop in some shimmer I think I'm gonna take this I don't want to put that I'm gonna take free spirit I'm gonna pop that into my corners I want to do the big chunky one but I'm afraid what that would do to my eyes <laughs> like I'm afraid that it would kind of scratch my eyes if glitter got that big of a glitter got in my my eyes <clears throat> what do we have left I want to shade in my eyebrows a little bit where'd that 
Where does Anastasia go? There it is. I do like the Anastasia brow wiz. But for my purposes, because all I have to do is shade in a little bit, I don't need to spend that much money on a brow pencil. Um, yeah, it just... I'll show you my cheap one that I like. So I've got this one. <clears throat> uh, this Ulta one's very good. And... This one by e.l.f. is really nice, this brow pencil. And this was like a dollar or two dollars. So there's no sense spending $22 on the Anastasia when I'm just shading in just a little bit. <coughs> Alright, let's get this lipstick on and then we will finish this up. Sorry for the stuffy nose, but it's allergy season. This is the color of my lips. That's insane. I can barely see where I put it. That this is my perfect match for my for a nude lip basically. So it doesn't really matter that it's not going to stay on, but there's what we have. I think the look ended up all right. Um, this festival palette has a lot of potential. Uh, I think a lot of festival palettes go for just chunky glitter and just... Why am I putting it back in the box? I'm keeping it. Um, they go for just chunky glitter and just bright-ass colors. and It's just not necessary. It's just not necessary. Um, this lipstick is really nice. It feels really nice. We'll see how long it lasts. I'm going to toss it in my purse. <coughs> I don't like this. Celestial is the color, by the way. Uh, I don't like this. I, I don't think it goes on smooth enough. Um, I think maybe for your upper lash line it might be okay. If you were to like do a really cool colored wing with it. But for the bottom lash line where I would use it, it's not not what I want um yeah uh the brush set I'm sure is awesome I'm gonna pass that on to someone the glow powder I'm gonna pass on to someone <clears throat> for me it's too messy I am not I'm not about that um yeah so that's it oh we talked about everything that was real quick I'm gonna throw on my scent bird I'm gonna use a Dolce & Gabbana light blue today Oh, it smells so good. I, I'm, i like, in love with this Scentbird stuff. And it's lasting forever. Plus, I got three of them, so. <sighs> anyway, that is the BoxyCharm for April 2019. Um, I am, eh, about it. Um, I would not have tried this lipstick. It says it's long wear lipstick, so maybe it'll go on and stay on. But uh, we'll have to see. But other than that, the rest of it was fine. Nothing exciting, nothing hateful. I don't like I don't hate anything. Nothing hateful. I don't hate anything. Uh, it's just yeah. And now I have nine minutes to get ready for work. Yay! Alright, guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you want your own box of charm, click that link down below. I don't get any money or anything for it, but you don't get anything off of it, but I get, like, credit. Like, I don't know. It's so weird. It's so weird how Boxing Charm works. Uh, they give you these charms, and you can buy products that used to be in boxes. You can spend your charms on that. It's, it's very strange, but I'm sure it'll be fine. <laughs> All right, guys. I will talk to you later. I love you.